Zendik is an organisation whose role is to bring together world-class testing capabilities in the UK. We act as a hub for the connected and automated mobility ecosystem. Interoperable simulation is about bringing together different components that already exist into something that works together. We recognise that many different organisations just have a single part of that jigsaw. So we bring all of those pieces of the jigsaw together so we get a comprehensive set of capabilities which goes far beyond what any one organisation can deliver on their own. So what we're showcasing in this video is the great work that our partners have been doing to create a proof of concept for interoperable simulation. Partners such as Millbrook Proving Ground, Smart Mobility Living Lab and Midlands Future Mobility. Millbrook is a vehicle proving ground that's been established 50 years now. We have a very extensive connected environment, we deal with automated vehicles and we have a large suite of simulation which is the lab that we're bringing into play for this interoperable simulation project. Our specific role is to act as a project integrator, to bring everyone together as test beds, trying to find the connections between each disparate piece of software, each particular interface, resolve those issues. So we're trying to make sure that everything is going to be working together at the right fidelity. So our customer Street Drone, they'll be placing their vehicle inside this interoperable simulation environment running through multiple scenarios across all the different sites, allowing them to understand the performance of their vehicle and really help them develop their product. Street Drone is an, a company based in Oxford where we are working on safer, faster and easier deployment of autonomous vehicles in the public roads. The main focus of the Interoperable Simulation project was being able to test our open source self-driving stack, how that technology stack could perform on an existing route that we've run in previous trials with more complex scenarios, and then also how we can expand that in the future into different routes and different contexts. As part of the Interoperable Simulation project, we are using the National Scenario Database as a way to communicate between the three test beds, Millbrook, SMLL and Midlands Future Mobility, with the customer in Street Drone. We've developed a scenario description language, which is the language in which all the scenarios are stored in the database. So this project's been delivered over a number of phases. The first set, finding a customer and working out what they want. From then on, designing an architecture and a framework which really delivers a technical solution to their challenges. Moving into building and testing that interoperable simulation, ensuring that everything plugs and plays together well. And then finally, delivering a demonstrator, showcasing this amazing work that Cam Testbed UK has been delivering, which is a world first. In demonstration one, we're taking the street drone vehicle and driving it around the environment of the Smart Mobility Living Lab. We're doing this through the capabilities of both Milbrook Proving Ground and Smart Mobility Living Lab. The simulation architecture we've built has been based upon a vehicle model reacting in an environment, using its virtual sensors to sense what's going on, sending signals to the control system to make a decision on what it should do next. We injected the real traffic signals into the traffic simulation. We used the ego vehicle and the environment and the sensor model linked together in a distributed way. We were able to run that environment at Millbrook, react into real traffic coming up on the live link from London. The Smart Mobility Living Lab is an advanced urban testbed within London's public roads. It enables the testing and development of new mobility and connected and autonomous vehicles. We've set up an IPsec tunnel to provide the connectivity between Millbrook and the Smart Mobility Living Lab. We've set up a traffic simulation model. We've then provided our 3D digital models on Millbrook's side. Coupling with that is our UTC platform, which controls the signals within the traffic model as well giving added realism to the signalised junctions and ultimately then the traffic on the network. The connectivity between the Smart Mobility Living Lab and Millbrook is a two-way communication. We send data to Millbrook, we also can receive data back and this opens the door for customers to run simulations at the Smart Mobility Living Lab on site but making use of the facilities and capabilities at Millbrook. In demonstration one, we are seeing the street drone vehicle encountering different scenarios that would be particularly challenging to the vehicle. For example, a pedestrian stepping out from behind a parked car, scenarios that we might avoid in the real trial due to risk. The route is showing how our technology responds to those scenarios so that we can better understand it from a development and a safety case point of view. 
WMG is an academic department within the university and its role is very much around how we bridge the gap between academia and industry. Midlands Future Mobility is one of the largest projects that WMG leads, focused around developing a connected infrastructure on the roads from Coventry to Birmingham. In this project, we've taken the environment directly from the SMLL testbed and introduced them into the Midlands Future Mobility's 3XT simulator at WMG. We are taking scenarios, seeing how vehicles interact with other vehicles and how an autonomous vehicle interacts with a pedestrian. Trying to deal with a pedestrian crossing the road, trying to deal with a pedestrian occluded behind another vehicle and jumping in front of the autonomous vehicle at the very last moment a vehicle cutting in front of the autonomous vehicle. These kind of situations are safe to test in a simulation environment as compared to a real world. In the WMG simulator, we'll be able to bring in a user and actually evaluate the user's response to a scenario sitting in a vehicle with a control system operating as if it was operating in the real world. We're able to see how the same technology behaves in slightly different contexts in terms of the simulation technology. We can take the learnings from the same tests we've done at Smart Mobility Living Lab in Millbrook and that's really important because it gives us a wider understanding of how the street drone technology is going to behave in that context. What this project has achieved has been successes on a number of levels. The first is overcoming the huge technical challenge of bringing together different simulation tools which have never previously worked together. Partners across industry, academia, different commercial partners working together for the first time. These demonstrations are very valuable for Street Run because we are gathering a large amount of data. We are stretching the algorithms to their limits. It allows us to work towards building a more stable stack. It contributes towards the overall quality assurance of the software. This is a world-leading project and this was just the beginning of a new paradigm and a new initiative to work collectively together as one CAM Testbed UK ecosystem. A project like Interoperable Simulation is enabling these individual stakeholders to come together to create a pipeline of simulation offerings that would be used by the entire CAV ecosystem to prove that CAVs are safe.